Our next guest has his own list of contenders as well. So let's talk about all this here to explain who he thinks should get the job. Senior Legal Fellow for the Heritage Foundation, John Malcolm. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's great to be with you. So the speculation begins immediately. Actually, it began a while ago because this wasn't a huge <laughs> surprise to a lot of folks. Uh, let's go through some of the folks that uh, are rumored to be top of the list. But with this president, you never know what he's going to do. Uh, let's talk about Pam Bondi, first of all. What do you think about her? Uh, she's terrific, an outgoing uh, attorney general from the state of uh, Florida, served the, the citizens of that state well. Uh, she's very, very bright. She's a rather dynamic personality, uh, frequent speaker at Republican events. I have no doubt she'd do an excellent job if she gets the nod. And Chris Christie, there's a familiar name to a lot of folks. <laughs> yes, very high, high public profile for Chris Christie, former U.S. attorney uh, from New Jersey, and then obviously went on to be governor. So, you know, he has a lot of executive experience and knows the Department of Justice very, very well. Uh, whether the president is going to want to put up with somebody who is that larger than life uh, figure mm -hmm. uh, or not, or, you know, remains to be seen. But he certainly knows Chris Christie well, and they have a relationship that goes back for quite some time. All right, so we have. To to talk about South Carolina is Lindsey Graham. Uh, speaking of high profile, you know, the, the real Spartacus was the nickname that he <laughs> took over after the whole Kavanaugh situation. What about him? Yeah, no, I think that Lindsey Graham uh, would also do an excellent job. He knows the Department of Justice extremely well. He is a lawyer. He was uh, an Air Force lawyer and I think was an Air Force prosecutor for a number of years. Uh, and, you know, he, he, he certainly did a tremendous job during the Kavanaugh hearings and has been very supportive of the president after starting out with a, a not so great relationship with the president when he first uh, took office. I also think, by the way, his fellow South Carolinian Trey Gowdy, who is also a, a former federal and mm -hmm. state prosecutor, will get uh, a serious look and there are other people I think will be uh, looked at very seriously as well. Remember when Lindsey Graham, I mean it seems like a lifetime ago, released uh, President Trump's cell phone number on Twitter <laughs> and all of that <laughs> happened. Yeah, but now they're buddies so that's good. Uh, what about the acting um, Attorney General uh, Matt Whitaker? What about him taking over? Well, he certainly has a lot of experience as well. He was the a Senate confirmed United States attorney from Iowa uh, and served with distinction in that position. For the last year, he has been the chief of staff to uh, to Jeff Sessions. So he's certainly very familiar with Jeff Sessions just thinking, knows the uh, all of the political appointees at the department mm -hmm. uh, and has a relationship of sorts with the president and saying he must have accompanied Jeff Sessions to the White House on a number of occasions. Now, a lot of people have a problem with this already, uh, saying that he should not take over the Russia investigation. What does this mean? What does it mean moving forward? Uh, should Whitaker stay in place or one of these other folks take over for the Russia investigation? Well yeah, I, you know, I think that any talk about interference by Matt Whitaker is, is certainly premature and probably far-fetched. Uh, yes, when he was a commentator before becoming Sessions' as chief of staff, he made comments, things like, well, if Mueller starts investigating the president's personal finances, that that would be going too far. But I don't think he's done anything to really cross the line where one could really question his impartiality. And in addition to that, rumor has it that Bob Mueller is wrapping up his investigation and has prepared a report, and there's no reason to think that Matt Whitaker or any other uh, incoming attorney general would do anything to scuttle uh, either his investigation or the issuance of that report. What about the, the role of Rod Rosenstein, though, in the investigation? Well, you know, Rod Rosenstein has been uh, having day-to-day -day, uh, oversight of that investigation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's sleeping quite well at night since he no longer has to do that. Uh, and, you know, I, 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 I don't think that, that uh, Matt Whitaker is going to uh, denigrate Rod Rosenstein or, okay. or interfere with Rod Rosenstein with respect to any kind of review of that report. All right. Well, we will see if that pushes the uh, Mueller report to come out sooner than later. Uh, thank you so much, John. We appreciate you joining us. My pleasure. Good.